we're going to be talking about a really important topic, and that's about some of the physical burdens of living with uh, atopic dermatitis. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Julia. Looking forward to having some discussions around the physical burden of atopic dermatitis, and we always have to look at it in terms of the bigger picture, this holistic disease. So when it comes to understanding uh, atopic dermatitis, the most obvious visible impact is absolutely itch. Itching, you know, it can lead to significant physical and psychological distress. Mm -hmm. um, it has been reported by many clinicians and in the medical literature to be one of the most challenging symptoms of atopic dermatitis. So as someone who has lived with it my entire life, I, I completely understand, I relate uh, to the demanding persistence uh, and quite frankly, incredibly annoying itch touch cycle of AD. So Rachel, other than being uncomfortable, what are some, some ways that itch can impact a patient's life? We know that itching is the hallmark symptom of atopic dermatitis, and this is something that I see every day in clinical practice. The itching, however, goes beyond that. You know, long-term sleep loss, for example, scratching in bed, what, what's happening there if they're losing that level of sleep, and how is that going to impact them on a long-term basis? Those that itch, they definitely will scratch, and that can lead to open skin and increase the risk of secondary infection as well. And that's some, another challenge that we, we see in clinical practice. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely relate to that whole, you don't even notice the scratching. Scratching is just, it's so ingrained in part of your day to day that someone right. often has to tell you, and like my husband has woken me up in the middle of the night a few times and gotten the cotton gloves out because I just don't know. And uh, yeah. yeah, or he won't wake me up and I'll wake up and I'll have a really bad flare up because of it. Thank you so much for, for speaking with me today. There's uh, a lot of great information in this video. Thank you, Julia. And these are conversations I have every day in practice with my patients, and I find that they do help. So thank you again for having me.